everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then hello and welcome my name's Alexis and I post four videos a week on a Tuesday Thursday Saturday and Sunday at 7 a.m. so if you love a variety channel like this one and you want to see more videos then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and now I'm going to share with you my June favorites as I just mentioned today I want to share with you my June favorites so in these videos I like to talk about the places we've been the products I've bought and the books that I've been reading as well um, so this month we have been to a few places so I'll start with the places we've been first so at the beginning of the month Howard went to visit his mother in Dorset for a few days and on the Saturday he came home but on that Saturday I made a vlog and in that vlog I made some candles so I shared with you in my last favourite video about um, candle making and I bought a kit um, and we actually used that kit in the video um, Ted and I had a little go at making candles we made two candles with the beeswax that I had they were very small candles but they were really nice one of them worked really well and unfortunately the other one didn't work that well it does work but it's not as good as the first one we made so yes we were very pleased with the candle making kit and then next it was Father's Day last month and we celebrated it a week early because we are Muppets. Um, I think I went upstairs to Howard who was in the office at the time and I think I said to him, is it Father's Day this weekend? And he went, yeah, I think so. We didn't actually bother to check. Um, so we celebrated it a week early, but we had a lovely Father's Day. Howard and Ted and I all went to see Jurassic World. Um, it was a really good film. It was quite scary, I have to say. No spoilers, but I did want to hide behind a big cushion. I didn't have one, so I had to hide slightly behind Ted, who isn't a big cushion, and didn't work as well. But I did jump at a lot of places in that film. It was super scary, so if you love scary films that make you jump, then Jurassic Park is just for you, I promise you. Um, and then, what else have we done? Hang on. Father's Day, oh, we had a Jubilee Street party this month, last month as well. Um, so it was the Queen's 70th, uh, not birthday, but her being reigning the, on the throne. Um, and lots of people around the country, the UK, all celebrated it. And some people had street parties and we did Nail Street. Um, we had a lovely day. I'll insert some pictures here of the flags in our street. It was really lovely. We all put flags up outside our house and we attached some to the lampposts. Um, there was cakes. There was so many cakes, honestly. people, The neighbours all made cakes. Um, we put them on the table. We had a table full of cakes. People had wine. People brought the bar barbecues out from their gardens. Um, yeah, so it was a really lovely day. And then finally, we also went to the circus this month and I didn't vlog it because it was at Ted's school. Um, and I I didn't really feel that it was appropriate to vlog at Ted's school um, but it was a really lovely evening it was a very warm evening as well I have to say um, but the circus was really good it was called the happy circus if I can find them I'll link them in the description box below for you I think they do circuses in schools and things and you have a fate so they had a fate in the playground and then on the field they had this great big circus tent um, and they had lots of acrobats uh, at the circus and a clown. It was very good and it was really well done. So we had a brilliant time there as well. So now I'm going to move on to products. I will start with chocolate first. So this month my husband had bought me three chocolate bars on three separate occasions. My husband knows me well. He knows how much I love my dark chocolate. So he got a voucher for M&S. I think he could get a free bar or some money off a bar of chocolate from M&S. So he found this one and this one I have never tried before. So this is a 100% dark single origin dark chocolate. Um, I have to say I really like this one. Um, it was, I mean, it's dark chocolate, so it does taste quite bitter, but I really like it. It doesn't bother me, the bitterness. Um, and I can, because I've given up sugar, I can actually taste the slight sweetness in it as well. 
Um, I think I actually prefer this one to the Montezuma one that I have in the cupboard downstairs. The Montezuma one is also 100% dark and that's slightly less sweet than this one was. Um, so yeah, I really like this one and I definitely would buy this again and if I can find it I'll link it in the description box below for you. The next chocolate bar that my husband brought me was this one from Tesco's. This is an 85% dark chocolate um, and it was delicious I have to say. It was really nice but it does have soy lecithin in it which I think lets it down. I buy one from Sainsbury's and it's a 90% dark chocolate and that doesn't have any um, chemical nasties or nothing in it. It's just literally dark chocolate. It's like cocoa mass and a little bit of sugar and that's it. So I do wonder why we have to keep adding all of these other things in um, to make them, I don't know, to keep, I suppose it's to keep them on the shelf longer, I'm not sure, I don't know why. The Sainsbury's one is also about £1.50 which I think is about the same price as this one as well. So I'm a little bit confused as to why you have to add soy lecithin in but it was still a nice chocolate bar and if somebody gave me one I wouldn't say no to eating it but that does put me off buying it to be honest. Then the final chocolate bar that my husband brought me this month is this Hotel Chocolat 70% dark chocolate. Um, I haven't tried it yet because I'm on this sugar free diet this has a lot more sugar in it than the chocolate bars that I am used to eating so I'm going to wait until I've stopped this sugar free diet. Um, it looks like a lovely chocolate bar I have to say and I really love Hotel Chocolat but I did read the ingredients and they weren't brilliant. Again soy lecithin and natural flavour natural flavour vanilla which can sometimes mean sugar basically so it's just added sugar already on top of the sugar that you've got in there I don't understand why they just can't add the vanilla like a cheaper version of the vanilla I don't know um, but yeah I do love Hotel Chocolat and don't get me wrong I will be eating it I won't be giving it away um, and if I can find these products I will link them in the description box below for you. The next product that I was bought this month by my husband again is this Dorset Sea Salt and it's from the Dorset Sea Salt Company um, and so when he went down to visit his mother in you'll never guess where Dorset um, <laughs> he bought this sea salt um, I love using salt in my cooking I know a lot of people are a bit unsure about using salt so Salt, 100% sea salt is okay. The stuff you buy in the supermarket, table salt, will have been bleached and processed so that's not as good for you because it takes out all of the goodness from the salt. Whereas something like this that hasn't been processed is actually really good for us and especially women, um, our thyroid tends to slow down as we get older and salt can really help to speed it up again. Um, so yeah, so I like to use sea salt in my cooking or Himalayan pink salt. Himalayan pink salt is a lot cheaper I have to say I mean a tub like this I don't know how much this cost him but I'm sure it wasn't cheap um, but Himalayan pink salt we buy in bulk on Amazon so yeah uh, sea salt is great but Himalayan pink salt is cheaper so if you're looking for a cheaper alternative then I would suggest Himalayan pink salt but I'm really pleased my husband bought me this because I'd nearly run out of sea salt in the cupboard and I love having it in there and if I can find this product I will link it in the description box below for you. Even though it's Ted's birthday in August we're actually hosting a party at the sort of end of term for him so we're hosting a party in July I normally find that if I host a party in August a lot of people are away or busy on Ted's actual birthday so I thought I'd do it a month earlier I think he's having it about six weeks earlier um, so that all of his friends can come so we are having a pop-up arcade in the back garden so it's going to be like a games party um, Ted loves Fortnite so I've bought some party bags and some bits for to decorate the house with because the kids will play computer games for about two hours in this pop up arcade and then they're going to come in for their dinner so I bought some decorations for the house and I bought some bits for the party bags as well and I just thought I'd share what I bought with you so 
I got these Fortnite themed party bags. So they're black and white and they have thanks for dropping into my party on one side and then they've got the battle bus. I think that's what you call it. Ted will be very impressed that I know that. They've got the battle bus on the back. So yeah, I thought they were quite fun. Um, and I also bought these as well. This is a pack of 10, um, just games themed, uh, the games themed, I don't know, like it's got a keychain and a bracelet and some stickers in it. It also came with party bags. I didn't realize it came with party bags as well, but I think these ones are a lot better to be honest, especially as it's Fortnite themed. So they've got these wristbands in here with laugh out loud or game on, uh, keep calm and game on. And then they've got a little keychain as well. So they've got, uh, I think that's a PlayStation 4, my husband said, uh, keychain. Um, and then they've got some stickers in here as well. This was about 20 pounds and you get about 10 uh, bits in a pack for each child. So I thought that's about two pounds each. And the party bags were £6.50 as well. So I didn't think that was too bad. I think that's probably about £2.50 a child. If anybody's watching this, I'm sorry to say that. Um, and then also, I'm going to try and make a cake. I'm not sure how I'm going to make a cake yet, but I'm going to try and make a cake. I have had a test run, which failed miserably and fell apart, unfortunately. Um, but for the top of the cake, I have this. I bought a party topper um, and it has happy birthday and it's a fortnight themed party topper. Um, so you put the straws in and then you put the, um, uh, the party topper on top of the straws, I'm assuming that's what you do. I shall figure that out when I get there. But I thought that was quite cool and so did Ted. And then I've also got a happy birthday um, I think this is the donkey in Fortnite. I'm not too sure. But yeah, this you roll this out and it says happy birthday. I won't do it now because I've got to put it all together. But if I can find a picture of it, I will insert it here. But yes, that's the donkey from Fortnite that's got a happy birthday written on it. And then inside that as well with the cake topper, I also got some Fortnite balloons. So I think I got two of these. And I got two of those as well. Um, and what else did I buy? Uh, oh, then I got loads of balloons inside there. And that party topper and the happy birthday sign was, I think that was 11 99 If I can find these products, I will link them in the description box below for you. And then I also bought some balloons as well. Some blue balloons. They're metallic blue. And I thought that was perfect for... Um, for like Fortnite, I think Fortnite is blue and purple, I'm not too sure, but I just thought that was a good colour, especially as Teddy's a boy. And that was that for, everything's falling on the floor on me. Um, that was everything I bought for Ted's birthday. The madness of Ted's birthday stuff. I'm sure there's gonna be madness at his party as well, but I am actually really looking forward to Ted's party. Anyway, now I'm gonna move on to something more calming um, and this month, my mum, or last month, sorry, should I say, my mum brought me a big book of herbs. So this is the ultimate book of herbs. I've been speaking to my mum about growing herbs in the garden because when I was a child, my mum always used to grow herbs in the garden in the summertime. She had a rockery at the back of the garden and I always remember her planting and growing these herbs. And then I always remember my dad using them in the cooking as well. Um, and that always fascinated me as a child. My mum is actually a really good gardener. Um, she, she had an allotment once <coughs> and she grew all of her own vegetables on this allotment. Honestly, she's a fantastic gardener and I really admire that about her. When she got the plot, it was a complete wasteland, basically. It was just full of weeds and 
everything was overgrown and basically she worked really hard and she got it up to scratch and I'm not being funny my mum sort of half-hearted does things half-heartedly but this she really put her you could see that she put passion into this and I was really proud of her when she built this um, when she had her allotment because she really did look after it um, she eventually had to give it away because my dad started to get uh, very ill and so she had to start looking after my dad a bit more so she didn't have enough time to spend on the allotment but when she did spend time there she did a fantastic job and I was so proud of her I really was um, so she knows how much I admire that and she is I think she's trying to encourage me to grow more herbs in the garden so she gave me this book, she's been having a clear out at home and she just said to me, I've got this wonderful book, you'll really like it, can I give it to you? And I said, oh yeah, please. So she gave me this ultimate book of herbs um, and it's basically a book about gardening, herbal medicine, natural beauty around the home, craft and cooking as well. So it's everything I love in this book. Um, it tells you all about the herbs and what they do and the power of them um, so yeah I have read up to about Echinacea I think um, I just browse through it every night before I go to bed that's what I do um, if I ever need to know about a herb I know I have this book now as well so I'm really pleased I got given this it's a really good book I have to say um, and it does make quite interesting bedtime reading as well um, so if I can find this book I will link it in the description box below for you that's my June favourites and that's it from me thank you so much for watching please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button see you all soon bye